So, yeah, I mean, first thing and main thing really right now is that both Twitter accounts are down, suspended. Um, and yeah, it's IP issue from multiple locations, signing in at too many locations, uh, maybe the content, but probably not. So, yeah, I mean, we, we've appealed and trying to get those through but there's a five day minimum of a five day process so being bull hopefully we'll get an email back tomorrow um and then maybe we can kind of lump it together depending on who we get on the other side working with us i don't know if anyone's dealt with twitter suspensions before i haven't so i'm not too familiar with with what exactly the process is like but yeah it sucks uh especially since we like right now there's a lot of really good stuff going on that we can talk about with mayflower with the benefesto and all that um so yeah i mean super unfortunate in regards to that um guy i don't know if like we want to kind of post anything from the bean farms beanstalk farms account about the Benefesto, I know, like, I know that stuff follows a general format on there, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, you definitely... wanna, do you want to draft a thread over it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Rob already has one actually. Rob, do you want to send that in right now? Yeah. I'll send the, I'll send the draft. Cool. In our chat here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it went out, Benefesto went out uh it's it's live it looks great and yeah i wish we could push it like normal um through through those accounts but you know hopefully hopefully it's just solved next week and then we can get back to normal um and and it wouldn't be too big of a deal uh and we can just kind of advertise it as as it came out next week essentially um so that's yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll update there and and kind of see what happens and what progresses. But not much we can do besides just wait for the emails. Um, and then in terms of the Benefesto as well, since we're on that PR, do you want to kind of give the update on on just where you're at with pitching that out? Um, and then we can move forward into some of the other stuff that I want to talk about after that. Definitely. Um, thank you for that, Joey. Um... So yeah, in terms of Benefesto, how we have gone about pitching it, we went to both Coindesk and Dow Times to pitch it as an exclusive embargo. Um, we were even pitching them previously to come into the Dow before the Benefesto was going to happen to just try and you know hear a meeting, to kind of hear the high-level conversations that are happening in the Dow weekly. Um, to just have them get a feel for that. Um, only Dow Times bit at uh, the pitch we were sending them. Um, they received the press release. They, they, they said they were interested in to see it. Um, the latest update on that is we've just responded to them this morning, asking them for an update and if they're going to post it um, because checked their website this morning and they hadn't done so. And then um, we also sent out a... And that, those, those pitches uh, all happened before the Benefesto went live this morning. So that was yesterday and the day before. And then this morning when it went live, we also sent it out to pretty much uh, just a massive comprehensive list um, of about 300 uh, reporters and journalists. And that was also preceded by going to some select tier one, tier two pro uh, journalists yesterday. Um, and throwing it under embargo. And so that was to a list of about 70 people. So we've done, done quite a bit of active outreach. Um, and so hopefully we'll see some returns on, the, um, on that front in terms of the Benefesto. Um, yeah, there's also DL News, um, which we sent it on embargo, who was also um, a project, or sorry, um, a journalist who we were talking to this week that um, had requested another pitch, and that was the um, Bitcoin Tether pitch that we communicated with um, Beanstalk 
um, and Publius and Pizza Man and I think some other people in the DAO. Um, on Monday, we got him the comments as well. Um, you know, and he actually just said that he didn't have enough time and that he was sorry and that he was open to, to further comments in the future, that he didn't use the comments. Um, so hopefully we can just keep massaging that relationship with that journalist. Um, but other than that, we're just going to be doing follow-ups um, on early next week with the um, live link that went live today um, because we had basically, we had sent a press release out. Um, and so now that we have the live link, we can use that in the follow-up. Um, so yeah, that's the update on the Binafesto outreach. Cool. Yeah. Um, if, again, as usual, just ping. Um, if there's any more info needed, I know that a lot of the discussions with Publius was good uh, early this week, last week. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the Benefesto and where we're at with that. Um, and then kind of in regards to other stuff, now that these Twitter accounts are suspended, uh, we will be able to, you know, focus on some other initiatives, which, which will hopefully prove to be a little bit helpful. Um, one thing I did want to bring up was the Y2K, uh, thing that was brought up yesterday in the Beanstalk group. And yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I think that would be fantastic marketing to get uh, a pool out there. I am trying to visualize in my head how that would look in terms of strike and actually structuring that. Um, but we are trying to get in touch with the team right now. Uh, and we'll hopefully kind of be able to get a conversation going there. If not, Y2K, uh, we could maybe reach out to the uh, Shagenerates uh, account and see if they want to do some sort of, you know, escrowed over-the-counter bet about that. Um, but regardless, I, I think that that is an awesome chance at marketing, especially leading into Mayflower, these upgrades, seed stock parity that will likely be moving bean in the towards one dollar. Um, so yeah, working on that. Um, working on KOLs. Our our approach with KOLs is going to be like very targeted, and and finding people that we have a good relationship that we can begin a nuanced conversation. Obviously, because it's just gonna it's it's not gonna be. Uh, as easy of a pitch but yeah we're working on a list to to talk to people and you know with with mayflower with uh this coming out we can hopefully do it as kind of a educational kol pitch and, and see if people are willing to to really talk about mayflower in that sense and and just talk about it from an objective perspective about here's here's this interesting situation with beanstalk so uh, we're we're starting to frame pitches for that and, and reach out to some KOLs. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to land and at least get some conversations going there. And then in terms of the Zealy campaign, uh, we st we have kind of a list of objectives of things we want to do, some stuff to try to really incentivize people depositing bean in the silo, sowing bean, sowing um, on beanstalk. And yeah, we'll be... Uh, publishing a like pdf more specific to that uh kind of going walking through exactly how it'll work with zealy but hopefully we'll be able to align that with with having a twitter uh live again so we'll potentially have a little bit of a hold on that but yeah uh, kind of that's that's what we've been working on a little bit this week and just going to keep focusing on that as we await these twitter um, things so uh yeah if there's any, any questions anything else people want to add and it's kind of a, a dead situation right now obviously with the twitter but we'll do what we can and uh yeah i mean i i, I really think the the y2k thing could be a big hit uh in good timing if if we can land that so if you guys have any opinions on that please jump in um would love to hear your thoughts there can you explain what it was? I'm not sure what you're referring to. There's, yeah, there was a tweet that someone, let me grab it really quick. Someone was pretty much asking about making a Beanstalk Farms pool on Y2K. They yeah. 
said, can I bet on stable coins depegging in June? And yeah, I mean, it, it was just left at that. It was a pretty quick conversation, but it's something that obviously Y2K gets a lot of attention. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's it's relying on these stable coins that are at a dollar and depegging off of that, but there might be some interesting thing that we can come up with there. So that's why we want to get on a call with them, see if they would be willing to support that. And then if not, figuring out another way to to interact with this person. Um, so, and so to add just a little bit more context around that. So, Fijen threw out that tweet about stable depegging. Oxfushi, who is working on a project that actually involves Bean, he's working on some type of gaming project. He had replied with, you know, with, with, some more information just about how um, how Bean works and trying to you know provide a little bit of education. Fijen knows the project, and you know I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say that they are trolling us, but is more than happy to to generate some interaction. And um, so when I saw that, I thought that's it's too good of an opportunity to to, to miss. So. I um, replied with with Quasimat's thread, and I haven't seen a reply. I haven't gotten any type of direct reply, but I definitely think we think we should pursue it because, yeah, I mean, it's it's just such an easy easy marketing win. Yeah, absolutely. I was yeah, I was kind of trying to look around. I didn't actually see this initial tweet that I just threw in the scribes com chat. Scribe com chat. Uh, where yeah they talked they tagged Alex Fushi. Um so yeah I, I agree. Uh we we have kind of some connections with Y2K. So yeah we'll see we'll see what comes out of that and we'll keep updated there. Um but I think it's a good opportunity nonetheless. But yeah I mean that's pretty much it. Again if if anyone has anything to add uh or any questions about kind of what we're doing at the moment please feel free yeah we have some updates um from the pr team yeah go ahead um so yeah i mean moving beyond the benefesto um you know we're trying to think of new angles um outside of just some of the just updates and things that are just being done by the dao and the community um you know, and also another motivation for this is 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 trying to get n different types of news out there that can just help us bury um, some of the, the the news that appears when you basically Google search for for Beanstalk. Um, you know, there's just a lot of stuff about the past where we're trying to find ways to get some new articles out, get some pretty much like easy wins so that we can start to pretty much bury that old news. Um, and so one of the ways we're thinking of this as a new angle from the PR team is um, guest articles and op-ed submissions. So we're familiar with a few sites that will allow us to create um, op-eds in the name of either Publius, you know, or Beanstalk, or... Um, you know, someone else from the community, we could even have it be anonymous, whatever. Um, but yeah, using these guest articles to um, showcase aspects of Beanstalk, um, you know, give critiques on maybe, uh, you know, parts of, uh, you know, the crypto world of, and, and, and analyze that through a lens of why Beanstalk should be, you know, on your radar, why should be, why it's an important for you to, you know, be familiar and know this project. Um, and same with the op-ed submissions. Um, and these can also be done with, you know, trendy topics in the news, um, you know, like Blockworks had a, uh, an op-ed I read this morning that was by a, a comms person about Ledger's, uh, you know, shitty response to their, uh, to their, their situation yesterday. Um, so sites like that who will take, you know, uh, outsider submissions um, and so we're going to start thinking and brainstorming of some ways of how we can, you know, fit Beanstalk into some guest articles and some of these op-ed submissions. 
Um, and we really think that this is a good angle moving forward to, again, just get some articles out there um, in the Beanstalk name and start to get some fresher hits on, you know, uh, search engine results. Um, you know, to just improve that image and help continue m moving past some of the older news in the, in the ecosystem. Um, yeah, I mean, any questions on that? Any, any, any other, any ideas people might, might have? Um, for some of those, you know, we're, we're definitely open to any suggestions. Then, you know, if, if you can always just ping us um, with any ideas as well in the future. Um, and then we'll be coming back with um, like a short list of events that we think would be, would be good for Publius. Um, to just help improve the, the, the Beanstalk name it, in person events. You know, there's just always crypto events and conferences going on. So, yeah, we're going to look and see if any will fit in their schedule in, in, in any of that. We think that Beanstalk um, and, you know, the Beanstalk ethos um, will fit at the conference. Um, you know, obviously not like an, an, maybe not like an NFT conference or something like that. Um, but yeah, again, some of these might have, you know, interesting talking panels that could fit. So we're just going to scour some of these conference lists that we have, um, make a short list and come back to the team uh, next week and see if anything fits. Um, but that's it from our side on PR. Um, yeah. Cool. Um... All right, yeah. I mean, that's it, Guy. Anything? It's an ad on this end. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, we will we'll be working really to to get those Twitter accounts back up, and then yeah, everything else we mentioned we'll we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, the Zealy proposal. I want to have that over ASAP. Uh, working on that internally with someone. So. We'll, we'll get that over soon, and then and then KOL stuff will keep updated as as that progresses. But sweet, awesome, sounds great. Thanks everyone, appreciate it. Thanks guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. We'll talk thank soon. You guys. Talk soon. Yeah, thanks everybody. Hopefully, we get this Twitter situation. Yeah, totally.